Well, finally tonight, as we mentioned earlier, today is the feast day of St. Clair of Assisi. St. Clair is the founder of the Poor Clares and followed St. Francis's example by giving up her worldly possessions to devote her life to Christ. Today, there are over 20,000 sisters in the Order of Poor Clares worldwide. And joining us now to discuss is Father John Paul Mary, EWTN employee chaplain. Father John Paul, great to be with you as always. Um, talk to us more about St. Clair, her life, and how and why she began following St. Francis. Well, St. Clair was one of the earliest followers of St. Francis, and St. Francis is really the the quintessential evangelical. I mean, he was so in love with Jesus and willing to give up everything to follow the Lord. He had so many followers in those early days, not just men, but also women as well, who became the poor Clares. Yeah, and as you know, St. Clair had really a strong love of the Eucharist, and she's often depicted holding a monstrance. Yes. Um, can you tell us the story behind that? Yes, there, were, there was a great attack on the city of Assisi. And at that time, um, St. Clair went to the tabernacle to get the ciborium. We often see St. Clair depicted with a monstrance, holding a monstrance, but really it was a ciborium that she was holding, and she held up the ciborium with the presence of the Blessed Sacrament inside the ciborium. And the vandals were unable to get in to where the the sisters were, and they fled. They almost saw, like, light. Claire's name means light, which is interesting. So I think the presence of the Lord just emanating from the monstrance is what people saw. Yeah, it's amazing. And I'm also curious, I mean, do you think that we should seek her intercession uh, during this Eucharistic revival in the church? Yes, Tracy. I think that uh, if you think about it, Mother Angelica was a poor Claire of perpetual adoration. And I think that Mother Angelica had so much to say because she spent so much time in silence before the Lord in, bless in the Blessed Sacrament, in adoration, just before the Lord, just meditating upon His presence, just sitting there. And we live in such a noisy world. All of us are so used to our phones texting on our phones all day long, watching TV, nothing against people watching EWTN. But sometimes I always I tell people they need to shut off EWTN, even shut off TV, shut off your radio, and just sit with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Go to a chapel, sit with the Blessed Sacrament in silence. We need silence. We need mm -hmm. contemplation. And in this Eucharistic revival, that's what St. Clair brings to this that contemplative dimension. And I'm so glad you brought that up, especially during this time. It's so important. Um, and I know she's also considered the patron saint of television. Um, can we talk a little bit more about that? You know, why a religious sister from the 13th century is linked to a 20th century invention? There was no TV back then, Tracy. No TV back then. So why is she the patroness of television? Pope Pius XII made her in 1958 the patroness of television, based really on a story, an account of St. Clair's last Christmas Eve. She was sick, and she always wanted uh, to go to the chapel with the sisters to spend time in the presence of the Lord and the Blessed Sacrament. And so the sisters went off to the chapel, and St. Clair, Clair was left there in her room. Well, when the sisters went off to the chapel, she started to experience what they say in story is on the wall, she saw the chapel. Like almost, um, you could say in a vision, she saw what was going on in the chapel. The song, the singing. So if you think about it, that's a pretty strong indication of God giving his stamp upon our work upon what we're doing, upon evangelization through the media, and that goodness and truth can be conveyed through the media. That's what Saint, uh, or rather uh, Pius XII says, that we can use the television for good means. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Father John Paul, for speaking with us today. We really appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, Tracy.